welcome to the first session. So in this session, I want to give you a brief overview of the VIP window. What you see in front of you here is known as the VIP window. And there are many different parts, and I'm going to show you a few of them. Right, so up here, this is the title bar. So in the title bar, you have got words written here as uh, Samplitude Pro X3, the belt model, 64-bit, the title of your song, the if you save it in your song, and then uh, other information that is up here, 4400 hertz, and then also you've got the time duration of the song up here. In the second session, we want to look at the second bar, which is the menu bar, and it is up here. So in the menu bar, you have got different items. For example, in the first one, you have got the file, and in the, in the file, you can see that you have got different options of creating a new project, opening the project, importing audio files. And then you can save the project and you can copy the project as well. You can export here as well. You can export in different uh, formats and then you can do track bouncing. You can do cleanup here of all your hidden data. For example, projects that you were working on previously, you can delete a virtual project that you are working on. You can close the project and then you have got different uh, project properties as well. You can open up the mixer setup here as well. Uh, and then you can work on the mixer setup up here. And then you also have got program preferences and uh, that you can open up as well, especially this one, system audio is an important one to know. Or just press the Y key on the keyboard. And then you have got also, you can also exit from the whole Samplitude Pro X. And you can also open up different projects that you were working on previously. And then you have got edit, you have got items in there as well. You've got the track in there. You can insert a new track via that, or you can create your own short key that I will show you how to do. In the object, you can insert a new MIDI. You can select how many MIDIs you want, and then you can insert it from there. And then you can group track controls together. And then you can have uh, object in the object menu. You have got uh, different items that you can select as well. New MIDI object that you can use. And then in the play, you have got different types of plays that you can select. Recording, monitoring, and so on. And markers, different markers that you can place. Automation, uh, different automation styles that you can use as well. And then in effects, you have got different effects that you can load in your track as well. And then CD, if you want to import audio from your CD, uh, from your DVD, make a CD, or just create different types of uh, CD things that you want to do. In the view, anything that you want to see in your VIP window, you can come up here at view and then you can select it and then it will be shown there. Anything that you press that disappeared, you can just come and click on view and then it will appear there and so on. And then if you do not want it to appear, you can remove it from up here or you can just close it off in its own window there. And then you have got the help window where you can uh, go for help and then you can do different things you can read and so on. In this session, we are going to look at the toolbar. The toolbar is up here. This is the toolbar where you see these little items here. So up from the top, we can create a new virtual projects. There are shortcuts that you can use if you do not want to use this menu bar up here, some of them at least. So you have got the new virtual project that you can select up here. And then in this virtual project, you can be able to select the number of trucks you want to insert. You can go up to 500, 999, uh, sample rate, I just leave it as it is. For now, I'm not going to select anything. And then the, you can also select the length of your project. For example, if your song is three minutes, then you can I usually select three or four minutes just so that I have got some space uh, to work with. And then you can select the number of buses here as well, or whether you want it to go straight to the stereo master. You can select that and that's fine. And then uh, you can just say, OK, if you say OK here, there are going to be 99 tracks up here and I'm not going to do that. So just say and then up here you can name your project, give it a name and give it whatever name you want to give it. All right. And so on. And then you are good to go. All right. And up here you can load a virtual project, a previous project that you were working on. And you can import through here an audio file as well. And then you can also play an audio file from here so that you hear what type of file you want to select, especially if you are loading it from somewhere else. And then down here you can save. You can also export from here into WAVE. 
mp3 and different formats as you can see here you can save the project up here as well in the toolbar as well you have got different uh, items that you can use items that you know that they are important for you like cut tool paste tool copy tool so and you can edit the toolbar so you can take out items and add more items for example i don't want this one i can take it out and then i can remove that i can also remove the divider up there and then if i want i can add the divider up here and then i can go and add whatever i want to add that i see to be very important okay so you can add that toolbar up there as well and remove it and you can also come here and then you can type in for example paste and then it will show you what short keys are there for you to select okay and whatever it is that you are looking for for example if you want to zoom and you want to see the shortcut for zoom okay there is no shortcut you can go to edit mouse mode wave so you can go up here edit mouse mode and then you can select a wave up here and then we can say draw volume zoom which is a z key up there okay